Hello everybody, welcome to another True Review. Today I'm bringing you Bridge Constructor Stunts on the Xbox One, follow-up to Bridge Constructor. Uh, who would have thought that? Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, been out in the marketplace since before Christmas. It's priced at $7.99. And um, it's a step up from the original, which I found a little bit boring. Uh, the basic premise of Bridge Constructor is that uh, you had a um, gap to build a bridge over and a certain budget to uh, to do that in, where you purchased various uh, materials such as wooden planks, steel girders and uh, steel cables. Now, whilst the original game, you simply had to get three vehicles, I believe it was, from A to B, just across the gap, this uh, spices things up quite a bit because um, the gaps are just simply not gaps anymore, they're filled with obstacles, barriers and they've spiced up the uh, completion criteria for clearing each of the levels whilst uh, now some levels are simply from getting from the start line to the finish line intact it throws the curveball of maybe having to do a certain amount of flips in there or by collecting so many bonus stars in the level so it kind of throws that in there and makes you create a bit more uh, wacky kind of constructions to, um, to fulfill your task that the game gives you. One major change as well from the original is you now have, I wouldn't, wouldn't say direct control over your car, you can control its acceleration and deceleration by a simple press of the A and B buttons. There's no way of reversing the car or having direct control over it, you can just simply uh, you know, change the uh, the rate that it accelerates and decelerates in, which can have a big impact because the structure may work when you take the ramps at certain speeds, but um, other speeds you'll fail miserably, and um, everything will explode in um, you know a glorious fireball. With the help of the introduction of barrels, <laughs> there's two kind of barrels introdu introduced into the game: a red barrel and a blue barrel. The red barrel typical red barrel video game about it will explode and launch you and more than likely destroy your vehicle if you if you're not careful and the blue barrels seem to just give you a, like a boost forward but without causing that much damage now these can help or hinder you depending on um, how you use them and depending on what angle that you hit them from now the game graphically has taken a little bit of an uplift I wouldn't say it's miles better than the the first one I mean it does a f good enough job of depicting you know what it's trying to do there the uh, building materials are easily identifiable the cars look reasonably nice and the vans and the trucks that you drive uh, sound wise pretty basic you've got a uh, decent enough musical track which doesn't get annoying through uh, through the time that you're spending with the game, which is pleasing because uh, the first game had um, had me turning the soundtrack off straight away because it was a bit uh, annoying after the first few hours of, of gameplay there. Nevertheless, it's a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent package for the money. The probably the biggest criticism I would say is the length of it. There's not an awful amount of levels. I think there's about 30-ish. Once you've done them, there's not very much uh, replay value to them. You can obviously try and give it your high score by collecting more bonus stars, and there is 29 um, golden bolts to collect, which doesn't really unlock anything other than an achievement for getting 25 of them. Uh, turning to achievements, it's a pretty straightforward list. As I mentioned, the hardest one's probably getting 25 out of the 29 bolts. You do also have to get 250 stars, but you can simply recollect the same ones on, on, a, on a level that you're comfortable in doing. And the majority of the other ones are just simply grinding out achievements, like spend an hour in, in the air, um, do so many flips, uh, cause so much damage. They're all like cumulative ones, and once you obviously can set up a, um, a track or a bridge or a structure to kind of give you the biggest return on these that's um, that's what you'd be really looking at now 
it should be a relatively easy thousand gamer score you're probably looking at about six hours worth of gameplay and that's not bad for a 7.99 asking price obviously some people will grasp the concept of it a bit more quicker than others and uh, rattle through it a lot more quicker there and there is already guides on true achievements and other websites as well if you want to just uh, copy and paste people's solutions to um, obtain the bolts and collectibles as uh, quickly as you possibly can so overall pretty decent uh, pretty decent package more exciting than the the first game and um yeah i can i can recommend i can definitely recommend it at the 7.99 asking price and um again if it ever goes on sale it's definitely one to pick up it's a no-brainer it's easy thousand gamer score uh good few hours fun there and it's uh, definitely definitely worth a punt so um i'm going to give it a uh, three out of five and i uh, hope you enjoyed that review guys please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video